<sighs> so, hello everybody, what is going on dudes? It is Kiba Shimaki here and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Last time, well, with Ephraim and company, or well, Aragon and company, same thing. We went ahead and pushed towards the Nauru River in an attempt to make way to Ralston. We encountered Leon and we saw that the Demon King had taken complete possession of him. Now there ain't much for us to do. Except really push forward and try to make haste after Leon in Nelora's Peak. Let's move forward. We also got a new ally by the name of Cyrene to join us. The group sets off in search of Grotto's elusive Imperial Prince, Leon. Inez has ordered Frelian troops to aid in the hunt. The troops return with news that Leon has moved north. The group's search for Leon leads them to Mount Nelorus. 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 I can see it. In the heart of the Darkling Woods. The scorching heat and the sulfur stench render the area unfit for human habitation. Endless numbers of Gorgon eggs stud the forbidding landscape. Chapter 18, Two Faces of Evil. We have our work cut out for us in this one. This is one of the harder monster missions. Lark, may I ask your advice? What is it, Erica? There's no need to be so formal. It's about Leon. My brother was right. Leon's been possessed by the Demon King. He's... He's no longer the Leon I once knew. But I can't help feeling... There. I can't help feeling... There must be some way to bring him back. Please, help me, Larko. I want to save him. Ralston is the spiritual heart of Magville. They keep the ancient lore. You're the princess. You must know something about the demons of a legend. Is there anything that can save Leon? I'm so sorry, Erica. To the best of my knowledge, there is no way to aid him. That can't be. There must be something, any clue, no matter how slight. Our eldest legends tell us just this. Only one person has ever been able to shake off the Demon King's domination. Ralston's founder, Saint Latona, the sure heart shattered his fetters. If one possesses a strength of will beyond that of normal men, only then can one throw off the shackles of the Demon King. But you saw it for yourself, Erica, with your own two eyes. Your friend Leon's body has already been claimed by the Demon King. Once it's gone that far, there's nothing that can be done. When the Demon King takes over someone, he devours his spirit, his every, his very soul. Even if he holds, even if his hold on Leon's body could be released, that body would have no soul. There is no power in Rostam, not even the Sacred Stone, that can perform so great a miracle to as to restore a shattered soul. But, Leon, Erica, I understand how you feel. But the prince is gone. The Leon you knew no longer exists. It's more important now that you care for yourself. If you pursue the Demon King, we're likely to suffer for it. I want you to return to Ralston Palace and rest yourself. Thank you, Larko. However, I must stay with the company. I have to believe there's something I can do to help him. Leon was always so kind. He wanted nothing more than to help people. It's too terrible to picture him imprisoned by the Demon King. Imprisoned, with no hope of salvation. We push forward, we see the hellscape. This way, the enemy went into the re recesses of this valley. Brother, do you smell something? Smell? Yes, an unpleasant odor, like sulfur. It's emanating from this valley. Are those eggs? Gorgon eggs. There are so many. Brother, the eggs. They started to hatch. No. He's led us into a trap. Watch out. Everyone, steer clear of those eggs. What he say is not wrong. You're going to want to steer clear of them, but at the same time, you're going to want to focus them. We see that this map is none other than a true hellscape. Upon reaching a certain HP amount, these eggs will hatch, and our main goal is to reach 
the Gorgon, Demon Surge, and Stone. A grotesque creature created by magic and born in darkness. Calmly and cursed, these creatures turn all who behold them into stone. These units are not to be taken lightly at all. A lot of these are gonna a lot of these eggs are gonna hatch, so you kinda have to get to them as quickly as you can and be ready for whatever happens. Avoid stepping on the red cracks, I believe it was, if our memory serves me right, because you will take damage every turn, however the enemies will also take damage as well. See we have gargoyles, gorgons, maggles, loads of varying enemies. We have loads of eggs to worry about, not much that we can really do about them, but we have to try and get to them and defeat them in time. Magic is going to be your best friend, I'm telling you that now. So be ready for whatever comes ahead. I have all my units empty in terms of items. Except for Siren. I can't believe I forgot to put her items away. I sworn I did. I don't have space. Of course, I thought I did that. Oh, whatever. <sighs> we'll sort it out. We'll figure it out. And we'll bring along who we see fit. Uh, so, yeah. But I believe if we check our support. Support. We get this wonderful little cheery music, but I believe that basically marks off all the units that we really need to encounter. Who is it? I think Melia, Ross. As you can see, I've not really. Yeah, we can, we can now tag along with Siren. As you can see, I've not really won't focus on this too much, but I definitely should. Um, that's what I'll probably be doing off screen a bit, or I don't know, maybe if I get the chance, if I don't feel too lazy. But yeah, let me go ahead and decide who I'm bringing along, and then we'll tackle this hellscape of a chapter. <sighs> Alright, we're back. We have our units sorted. Who we're bringing along, of course, is Ephraim and Mir. We're going to tag along Vanessa, of course, because why not? Josh will be of good help, and of course, we're going to bring along Amelia and Ross. Naomi, Archer, Louis, Noel, the usual, along with Moldor. And as you can see, I have Moldor equipped with the Guiding Ring. I say we go ahead and upgrade him. We can either have him become a Bishop or a Sage. We already have a Sage, I believe, on this team. But we don't have a Bishop. Or I think we do have a Bishop. Off the top of my head, hold on. Let me double check. No, we already have a Bishop. Yeah. So, we could have two Sages. Though, I think we're just better off having another Bishop. <coughs> Just so that we can double stack, and probably in the other chapter, or in Ephraim's story, I guess we'll have um, Moldor become a sage. Just so that we can double cross it. I made him a sage, didn't I? Oh, never mind. Okay. Boosted HP, magic, skill, defense, resistance, and constitution. We can now use light magic. Awesome. Go. Go to supplies. Take. And I don't think there's much for him to bring along. Um, could have him trade, actually, armory, buy, I have enough for lightning, so yeah, might as well grab that, um, yeah, we should be good, our formation is more than okay, so yeah, pretty much all set, or as best as we can be, let me save again, just to make sure, let's jump right into it. We already know we have to move as quickly as we can to these different enemies. So let's not waste too much time, let's just get right into it. Let's start clearing out these uh, monster eggs. Perfect. Level 3, boost in HP, strength, luck, and resistance. That's a lot of what this boils down to, is moving as quickly as we can and taking care of the enemies that take the shortest amount of time to hatch. Uh, okay. You guys, I probably won't be able to reach in time, even with me rushing. The Gorgon, the boss, has quite the range, though I don't think she will move as much, so we shouldn't have to worry about her that much. Uh, we definitely want to try to get rid of these eggs ASAP, and move as much as we can. Mare, I'm going to have you push just up here. I'll have Erica join along with Ephraim. Uh, let's see, push along with Archer. Have Vanessa help Ephraim on this front. Attack with the javelin. Go. 
you can see these monster eggs give loads of experience for taking out one. Boosted in HP, luck, and defense, which is great. So Nolan move in, have him summon. Because we certainly need the help. The Phantom come in, attack. Fortunately, he does just enough, so we're good there. Moldor move along. Joshua, keep on going. Loot, keep up. And everyone else pretty much just kind of has to move at their own pace and make do with what we got. I have Ross and Amelia really here in the back just for defense, defensive purposes in case we get surrounded somehow. No, I'm not sure what to expect. Ugh. The Gorgons are the biggest worry because they have moves like Shadow Shot. That can reach really far and it basically works the same as Bolt. It can do loads of damage if it connects, so be very, very wary of it. As we move with Vanessa, I believe she has the Dragon Spear. Yeah, so Demon Surge, you're not going to hatch for another turn. Let's go ahead and let's take care of you, if anything. Boom. Go. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage, but we should be more than okay for the most part. Again, just play it safe however you need to. Be careful, of course, and just don't rush too wildly. Avoid all the red markings, as I said before, because you will get damaged tremendously from it. Let's go into the E frame. Let's have Erica push along this side with Mir. Have no, no push up as well and summon again. Go just so that we can catch this one's attention. Have a Moldor move up on this side. Archer push over here. Put that down, please. Joshua push up. Lute push to the right. Naomi push along to the right as well. And I'll have Amelia and Ross just kind of split paths. <sighs> yep, here we go, the monster eggs are just gonna try to recover whatever they can. And yep, as I mentioned, those little cracks, they will do damage to you. So be very wary of them, try not to step on them too often. Um, now some have you just take care of this one. I uh, use your javelin, it's fine. Go. Keep the phantom there, he has no real reason to move too much. Um, out of the mirror, take care of this egg. Nice, I love the overworld dragon. Um, look, looks awesome. Lewis in HP, strength, skill, speed, and luck. You can move Noel along to this side. Move Erica along to this side. Have Archer join up. Loot matchup as well. And we'll just keep moving these two units along. Amelia. Amy move there. Ross keep the back end covered. And yeah, we'll be frame up one. The Phantom doesn't really need to move, so we should be fine for the most part there. Yeah. <clears throat> More health, of course. Perfect. I don't think you can travel far enough, but you can get within decent range. We took a javelin. Boom! We're good. B frame just cleaning up as I'd hoped. He should be fine on this space, if anything. I got a phantom move to this side now to act as a stall. You can bring Vanessa up and have her just wait here. This end, Noel, Erica, move to there, and wait as it lands. Give evil eye. Okay. Noel, move in. Have wait here. Archer, keep up with the Phantom. Or that was, oh yeah. Moldor, keep up with the Phantom as well. You're missing it, you numbskull. So, Luke go over there, Joshua push to this end. What'd you talk, what'd your mom tell you? Push up right here with Naomi. 
Malia there, Ross moves up to the middle, Mir keep up the rest on this side. This, yeah, this chapter can either go by really quickly, or really not. Especially with how these units move against us, it's actually quite foreboding. Go, stone, which is very dangerous because if it does connect, our units become petrified. We do not want that, above all else. Go, 